What's up friends? Welcome or welcome back to Nine and Three Quarters. It's Carissa here and I am so happy that you are here with me. Thank you for being here with me. If it's your first time here, hello, welcome. And I'm just happy to be bringing you today's video, a message from your future self. So just to give you a little bit of a background, I just want to tell you to please beware of scammers out there. I will never DM you. I will never message you saying grand rising, anything like that. Um, never saying that I feel called to give you a reading or anything. I'll never solicit you for a personal reading. Personal readings are available. Um, however, you will have to book them with me. I will never reach out to you in any sort of way. Um, so those are available via email right now, which I have popped up on the screen and how you can reach me. I'm working on putting up my website so that you may book via website. Um, and as I get that worked out, um, I will let you guys know via my community tab. So please make sure you guys are subscribed and you have that little bell notification so that you are notified when that is available. But yes, for now, it is via email. And yes, um, but thank you guys so much for your patience and your kindness. And for those of you who have booked with me, thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. And yeah. Jumping into the reading though, today's reading is a message from your future self. I'm just letting you know on how things are going to be going. We're going to start off with a little bit of like a current energy check so that you can get a feel for like what's going on with you currently. Um, that way you know if that's the right pile for you and if not, you can go ahead and feel free to check out a different pile to see if that one's more fitting for you more resonate more resonant for you and if not don't worry about it maybe there's just not a reading here for you today as always take what resonates and leave the rest and um yeah you guys um and then after that whole energy check portion we're going to dive into the message from your future self what your future self wants you to know things like that and yeah finish off with advice and guidance from your future self as well and that is about it um, I want to keep it pretty brief and let your future self kind of take the wheel on this and yeah without further ado you guys let's dive in to the pile selection I've selected owls for you guys today because I feel like your future self is bringing you some wisdom and We'll see just how far off into the future your future self is and things like that. Um, but yes, I feel like they're bringing you wisdom and owls represent wisdom and who knows, get it, <laughs> what they have to say for you or to you. Um, but yeah, that was pretty funny, don't you think? Anyways, starting off with pile one, we have the green owl or and or the ethereal visions tarot. So you can pick by the owl or the tarot. Pile two, you guys have the pastel journey tarot or the pink owl. Please don't roll away. Pile three, you guys have the blue owl or the light seers tarot. And pile four, you guys have the Deviant Moon Tarot or the Red Owl. Which I should show you the back artwork better. So as usual, you guys can pause the video here. Take all the time that you need to pick the pile that you feel drawn to the most. I will drop the timestamps down below and meet you at your reading. What's up pile one if you chose the green owl and or the ethereal visions tarot welcome to your reading i'm gonna go ahead and put your owl right here next to hedwig and we're gonna jump on into your reading i'm gonna give the tarot deck a quick little shuffle i've already shuffled off camera but you guys know for peace of mind i like to just shuffle on camera for you guys a couple of times um for good measure we're going to dive into the energy check section first though. So right here, let's do this three for your current energy. And these will be for your future self, what your future self wants you to know. And we'll dive into tarot, of course. So 
starting off with your current energy. We have the mouse with some earth energy escape and lake midnight you're not stuck here blockages stagnant energy self-pity um earth energy is just energy does not matter what your signs are you can take it as a layer of confirmation but um i'm hearing it doesn't matter what your signs are for this case um but if you do want to know taurus virgo capricorn um however i just feel like this has a lot to do with you being more grounded. Um, now, you might not necessarily be feeling grounded lately um, or currently. I feel like there is an energy about you currently, pile one, in which you might be tending a lot to the details. You know, you might be so detail oriented, organizing, preparing, very much, you know, um, resourceful. You know, a mouse can be very resourceful and you know, gathering all the things, being very prepared for whatever is to come, you know. But also with this Lake Midnight and this Escape card, I feel almost as if like being this mouse that you may feel like you are trapped, you know, like you're stuck where you are, you're trapped and you can't get out, you can't escape and it's dark. However, that's not necessarily the case, you know, on um, being that or with this mouse energy, sometimes that can mean that we're not necessarily thinking outside the box, you know? Sometimes we're so detail-oriented, we're so, you know, looking at the small details, the smaller things, um, we're not necessarily able to step back and look at the bigger picture, you know? We're not able to step back and look from the outside in, and rather we're feeling trapped on the inside, stuck. And it's almost like, um, I don't know why I'm being called to share with you, this book that I read uh, in high school, actually, it was like a high school requirement. Um, and it's called Who Moved My Cheese? So I don't know if any of you have read it, but it might be like a, um, it might be a story that you would want to check out. Um, but anyway, moral of the story, it's, it's about two people and two mice in a maze that are looking for cheese, right? And each character represents a different attitude towards change and um, with the cheese being what we consider like success, right? Um, but basically the gist of it is that there are three lessons that you learn throughout this maze, right? Um, what you should do when somebody moves your cheese. And rather than thinking too much about your cheese to the point where it paralyzes you and, you know, analysis paralysis, it's just about you just starting to look for the cheese rather than thinking about which way should I go? Should I go this way? What if I go that way? And at least a dead end, um, just start moving, you know, nothing lasts forever. You know, keep your eyes open for change and adapting and moving, you know, blockages you're not stuck here stagnant energy self-pity don't get stuck in that energy of feeling like oh my gosh i hit a dead end i shouldn't have come this way like why did i go this way i knew i should have gone the other way like what what's wrong with me you know like don't sit in that energy you know rather than you feeling that way understand like you you're learning these lessons you've come up to these paths and these obstacles so that you can learn something so that you can grow and what's meant for you will never pass you by. So just think about it like that. And you can always find new cheese. And the minute you start thinking that you can't find cheese or there's not enough cheese, you're in that lack mindset, right? And the whole point of abundance and abundance mindset is to remember that there's enough for everyone, you know? And the, the minute you start moving and you start looking for cheese, things will start to get better, you know, because just because somebody else found that cheese first, there doesn't mean that there's not another cheese somewhere else. And who's to say that they found a smaller cheese and you won't find a bigger one. You know what I mean? So I hope that's coming across um, in a way that I'm hoping it will. But um, what I mean to say is like, 
I feel like currently you might feel like you are having a difficult time with change and with adapting. However, as this green owl, I'm just called to feel like you connecting with your heart and having more compassion for yourself, more acceptance and healing for you and being where you are. You know, you're not stuck where you are. It's just about you getting up and moving and allowing yourself to, you know, even if you do make mistakes, even if you do have setbacks, it's just that, you know, it doesn't define you. It makes you that much stronger. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I feel like I say that quite often. You might be my pile that hears that quite often as well. But I do feel like with this earth energy, it's just about feeling your feet on the ground and not being so stuck in your head. It's about you understanding like you're not stuck here. You are able to escape this cage, you know, you're not trapped there, that eight of swords energy. You're actually able to free yourself, you know, it's all in your mind. And at the same point, you know, I'm not saying that anxiety and uh, depression and things are not real. Of course they are. You know, I'm not a medical professional by any means. I always have to preface it with that. And please go seek the help that you need should you need it. Um, as someone who suffers from anxiety and has dealt with depression previously and continues to every now and then, I do want to tell you that I'm sending you my love and my light and that you are not stuck. You have the power and the capabilities to overcome what is being thrown at you. And I think that your future self just wants to let you know that you're not stuck here and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's just about you taking that step back and allowing yourself to see the bigger picture rather than being so detail oriented and fixated on the small things and feeling like you need to control every little detail, every little aspect. Um, because when you feel that way, sometimes that's when the chaos happens and ensues, you know, and like, um, sometimes we need to just let go and allow ourselves to, like I said, step back and see the bigger picture. Um, but with that being said, with this current energy, I do feel called to move you into what your future self wants you to know. You know, if you feel like this is resonating for you, I do want to move into this energy because I feel like your future self has a lot to say regarding what's coming for you. So what does your future self want you to know, pile one? We have cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Which I wonder if I'm going to be able to fit everything. Soul's window, listen to what speaks to your soul, purpose, passion, truth. And I just want to tell you, wow, if you can look at this, do you see how there's an eye? It's this eye looking. Do you see that? How it's like looking in from way in the back here towards you. It's like taking that step back and you seeing that now. Your soul's window, listen to what speaks to your soul. And this is your future your future self coming through to tell you like it's happening you can do this you also have flow and 81 leadership wow beautiful energy pile one okay so right off the bat before i start drawing i just feel like you guys are starting to be more in flow. Your future self wants you to know it's time for you to be more in flow with the things that are coming towards you, allowing things to happen and unfold. Like, like I said, releasing that control of every little thing and being in flow of what's happening, you know, for you and taking this leadership role in your life and not being a tiny mouse, you know, not feeling like you're just this small little mouse, but rather this this powerful cow spirit that you are and embodying that energy of like you have this abundance within you it's not about somebody you know bringing you your cheese or you finding the cheese it's about you being the cheese you creating the cheese you know cows make milk cows create milk which what creates cheese right and I feel like that's exactly what your future self wants you to know it's not about you going to find the abundance you're creating it yourself and so 
you are tapping into that energy, listening to what really speaks to you, finding your purpose, your passion, your truth, and aligning to that and allowing that to flow to you. When I cut the deck, look at this, the devil card. It's about you letting go of any sort of like negative thoughts, behaviors, patterns, um, things that really hold you back in your place. And on the other side of this cut, we have the four of cups. Um, really just not feeling like you feeling like you the grass is greener on the other side that's what I'm trying to say and feeling like you know you're always dreaming of something more and better but rather than rather than just sitting there and wishing for it to happen or waiting for it to to happen you're going out to go get it you know you're you're going out to create that so and I already shuffled for you guys so what does pile wow that was fast we have the hierophant reversed this pile once future self want them to know we have the page of swords this pile once future self want them to know please two of pentacles this pile once future self want them to know please the Nine of Swords reversed. What does Pile One's future self want them to know, please? What does Pile One's future self want them to know, please? What does Pile One's future self want them to know, please? We have the Six of Wands. On the back of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. Wow. All right. Pile one. Wow. So your future self is just really about you. Like I said, stepping out of the box, you know, understanding like you don't have to do stuff the way that everybody wants you to do it or the way that society says like you must do something like A, B, C, A, B, C, you know, like you don't, there's no set way to do something um, and the pathway that other people's have, other people may have deemed like it must be done like this, you know, in order for you to achieve a certain goal or a certain stature or whatever it is that this may be because there's a vast variety of you here that this could be applying to. So bear with me on what this particular thing is right it's going to apply to each of you in a different way but whatever this thing is right it's about you doing it in your own way i'm here you can go your own way and i have no idea who sings that is that bon jovi i'm totally butchering it it's a classic song and it's an older song so i apologize um but i i just hear that song and i know it's on a commercial somewhere but anyways um I'm hearing that song, you can go your own way, and it's like, you guys are able to really just pave your own path and do things differently outside of the box because that is your own way, you know? Feeling like you have to do something the way others have done it before you in that same pathway, in that same pattern, in that same, you know, whatever you want to call it, it does not you know it's not how things are society is changing everything is changing now you know Aquarius has shifted into Pluto and it's it's just about you understanding like as times are changing so are you you know you're evolving with the times you are going with the flow of change and it's allowing yourself to step up and be a leader of your own life you know with this page of swords energy here I feel like this is really about you feeling called to really take charge and do the work as far as like what is it that you are interested in what calls you what what piques your curiosity what is it that you want to know more about what what is it that you want to learn more about and go for it you know do something different that that's been calling you and I feel like it's your go ahead your green light to go and do that you know it's not about you feeling like you have to please people and do something it's not about you feeling like you need to choose one thing or the other rather you can have both you know with this two of pentacles here it's about balancing both things and feeling like you can be in flow of both things the miracles are endless the cow spirit says you know there's enough room for you to do both 
you know, the cow can both can both provide, you know, and I apologize if you're a vegetarian, but th this is the example I'm being given. The cow not only provides beef as a way of uh, sustenance for people, but also milk, you know. And so that's kind of what I'm being shown here with this two of pentacles. You can do both things. You can go and do both things and balance both natures, both uh, aspects, both things that you are trying to achieve here. And like with this nine of swords reverse, it's like letting go of those fears, those doubts, those voices that tell you like you're not worthy. Those voices that tell you you can't do that because no one has done it before or people who have tried have failed. Those people are not you, pile one. Those people don't have that same connection to this purpose, to their truth, to this passion that you do in this way. Those people aren't you. Those people don't have the same heart as you. What color is your, what color is your owl? It's green. That's the heart chakra, pile one. And you guys are so connected to your heart, so connected to what lights your soul on fire. And it's really about you trusting in that. And as long as you trust in that and align to that, then you can't really go wrong here, can you? 15 condenses to the number six. That is also the number of the lover's card. Love. It's a number of love, harmony, adjustment, and you making these adjustments and adapting to whatever is being thrown your way, adapting to the maze of who moved your cheese, right? Creating your cheese and being able to, like I said, step up and take leadership in your life. 81 condenses to nine, which is above this nine of cups here. This is about you having fruition, fulfillment, and really having that wish fulfillment come through for you guys, you know, going after and making it happen, not waiting for someone else to make it happen, but you making it happen for you because what you put out there, you're going to be recognized for it. And I feel like you guys are stepping into this mean character energy. If you haven't felt it already, if you have felt like such a small character in your life, if you felt like, you know, you haven't been getting the recognition that you've been looking for, if you felt like, you know, this small, like I said, this small person in your life that just hasn't been making an impact in the way that you've been looking for, I feel like your future self is here to tell you, like, no, baby, it's time for you to step into this light and step into your flow of your soul's purpose and your passion and your truth and take charge of it. Let go of that fear, doubt, and anxiety that's holding you back and telling you you're not worthy of it because you definitely are and it's here. It's happening and you are capable of making this shit pop off for yourself. You know, you're worthy of these things. You are capable and you can make it happen. It's happening, you know? Look at this behind there. Nine of Pentacles. Incredible. Nine of Pentacles is all about independence. It's all about abundance. That's pre-empress energy. Pre-empress makes me think of this card right here, actually. The cow spirit. Look at how abundant the cow spirit is. And the miracles are endless. Just as long as you believe in what you are doing, believe in yourself, believe that you are worthy and capable and going after this with intention and heart. Like I've been saying this whole time, heart, 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 lots of heart and love energy. I feel like there's nothing that you cannot accomplish. There's nothing that you can't do. And I feel like your future self is here to tell you, like, believe that you can do it. Believe that it's possible. Believe that, you know, just because nobody else can do it, nobody else has done it. Just because it seems so outside of the box, so different, so non, um, what is the word? Non-linear, non traditional that's the word I was looking for non-traditional it doesn't mean that it's not possible you know it just means that you are unique you are special you are magical you are different and you're meant to pave the path you're meant to be a pioneer and create your own cheese create your abundance and create the life that you have been envisioning for yourself dreaming of and you're worthy of it so this is incredible energy pile one as far as like what your future self wants you to know um, that you are capable, you are worthy and it's time for you to realize that and recognize that. All right, let's finish off with advice and guidance from your future self pile one. Yeah. 
hand. Let's see. Advice and guidance from Pile One's future self, please. Advice and guidance from Pile One. We have warrior woman, and this is regardless of what you identify as. We're always all inclusive here. Have you answered your deepest calling? And this definitely aligns to this purpose, passion, truth. What is your deepest calling, Pile One? Advice and guidance from Pile One's future self. Share your voice. And I love how this is very similar to this card right here. Let me move this out the way. How they're like sitting so similar. And it's like totally different decks and totally different like authors and things like that. Um, but you can see the similarity there. Come out of the cave, persecution, expression, really just expressing yourself and allowing your voice to be heard. Advice and guidance from Pile One, teach yourself. We have play. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Love that for you guys, Pile One. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? I love this as well. In the back of your deck here, we have Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So I feel like you guys definitely might relate to that starseed energy as well. So you guys can go ahead and check that out if you have any type of um, calling to starseed energy. There are some amazing starseed readings out there. I will drop a couple of really amazing ones down below for you guys. Um, one is definitely um, Lexi the Leo. I absolutely love Lexi. You guys know she's one of my friends here on YouTube and she's absolutely so insightful and so channel so gifted at channeling and um, bringing in that starseed energy. So I absolutely love her um, bringing in that starseed energy here for you guys. So I'll probably drop her video down below um, if you guys are interested and feel called to take a look at that. Um, but yes, I definitely feel like you guys might feel called to a higher purpose, a higher path towards that. And maybe that's what it is to aligning to that. Um, but of course, only if you feel called to and when you feel ready to. Definitely, I do feel though that your future self wants you to have a lot more fun. Allow yourself to tap in and not be so serious when it comes to whatever path that you're walking on right now. Because sometimes... You need to allow yourself to have fun in order for you to be more balanced going forward, in order for you to have that sense of clarity and for in terms of what it is that you want to do next. Like, where are you meant to go? Which path do I take? You know, um, like going back to that who moved my cheese reference in the maze, you know, which way do I go left or right? You know, in order for you to have a clear vision of your intuition and things like that, being in flow with what's meant for you and what feels right for you. Now, because remember what's meant for you whenever pass you by, but as far as like you feeling tapped into your intuition and what feels right and in alignment to you, it's very important for you to feel very connected to yourself, connected to you and the way that you can do that is to be really balanced in your shadow and your light very balanced in your play and your seriousness you know moderation is key for everything and I feel like that's a big thing and you allowing yourself to come out of your shell come out and share your voice and not be so shy and nervous about doing that you know allowing yourself to step into your power and be this warrior that you are regardless of or we're taking the woman out regardless of energy you are a warrior you are a leader you are a pioneer and you are going to step into this magical energy should you allow yourself to free yourself out of this cage that is actually open and ready for you to escape from you know but that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Pile one from your future self. Um, I want to just take a moment to say thank you to your future self for coming through and allowing me to channel this message for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please go ahead and smash the like button and comment down below a mouse emoji. So I know you're from pile one. And let me know how this resonated for you, how you guys enjoyed this reading. I love talking stories with you guys in the comment section and getting to know you guys. I love it so much and I hope you guys do too. Um, if you feel called to subscribe, I would absolutely love it and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a beat. 
And yes, I'll also be dropping my link for my Patreon down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family there where we have exclusive content and weekly energy readings not available here on YouTube. So thank you guys so, so much for being here. I hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! What's up pile two? If you chose this pink owl and or the pastel journey tarot, welcome to your reading. I'm going to go ahead and put your owl right here next to Hedwig and give your deck a shuffle. I shuffle off camera, but I like to shuffle on camera so you guys can see as well for peace of mind. And yeah, I have a very, um, very like calming vibe around you guys it feels very like soothing and just like i don't know how to explain it at ease i feel very like i know it sounds cliche because it's like pink but like very much like i feel pretty does that make sense um and not to say that pink is only for feeling pretty I don't want to classify it as that because I don't feel like that at all, but I just feel like very um, in tune femininely, if that makes sense. And I hope that's coming across in the correct way. Um, because this is, you guys know, my channel is always all inclusive here. I love all of you. And it just feels like very much like nurturing and kind here I just feel very much like I almost feel like I don't know I, I picture Selena Gomez like very kind and loving to me you know like like not like I know her in person but like if I were to meet her in person I imagine that's how she would be you know I kind of feel like that's the energy I'm getting so anyways let's just jump in because who knows I might be totally wrong with the energy check so this is zero current energy here which I think I have it backwards. Anyways, it doesn't really matter, but that's how I had it the first group, so. And then this is your future self, so. Let's dive right in, okay? Your current energy, I knew it, the deer. Doe, a deer, a female deer. Okay, that might be significant, you guys. Um, <clears throat> what does that mean? I don't know that movie. Can you guys comment it down below if I don't pop it on the screen? Um, makes me think of Mary Poppins, but that's not the movie. You know, that's Julie Andrews, I know. But that doe, a deer, a female deer. Okay, anyways. Um, we also have Alien Planet. All, it says all we have is now Alien Planet. Make yourself at home. Adaptability. Change originality. I love this so much. Um, and then we also have Illusion. Wow. Okay, so as far as your current energy goes, you guys, I feel like you guys, pile one, are definitely very loving, right? This dear energy is total divine feminine mother energy, and it, it's regardless of what you identify as, okay? Um, because it's just energy. Feminine energy is all about love, intuition, um, compassionate, nurturing, tender, you know, very loving energy like empress energy right um very in tune receiving protective present graceful um yeah compassionate kind just very much in that way and i feel like you're very much um there for other people and loving on other people as well and a stable like person that people go to for whatever you know like to lean on and you're just there for people um with this illusion card and alien planet though i'm getting this vision of like i can't even tell you what the movie is or where it's from it might not even be a movie it might be like a tv show but there is this uh scene where the deer like morphs into like this weird alien type deer and I don't know if it's like Men in Black or some kind of weird alien movie. I know it's an alien movie because the deer head actually morphs and it has like, I don't know, seven eyes or something weird and weird head. And like, it's specifically a deer that morphs into that. And it's so cool because you have this alien planet and illusion card coming out. And I think that like, 
in terms of your current energy, you might be feeling very much like you're always there for so many other people and it's time for you to focus on you a little bit, being more selfish and not feeling guilty about it. You might feel some guilt about it, like, you know, because you're human, you know, having a human experience. But I definitely feel like it's about you not really... There's two things coming through, okay? Because I feel like there, you're going to be one or the other, so bear with me. One is, like, you're starting to see things a lot differently than you used to. And the other thing is that... The other thing is that you are... <clears throat> tired of putting up this facade that you are someone that you are not you know I'm not saying that you're not this kind loving compassionate person I'm saying that there's also another part of you that you don't necessarily show the world and it's time for you to bring that part out of you you know make yourself at home make yourself you know known to the world and bring that part out to play you know so that other people can see that for what it is so pile two I feel like there is that air about you like this is about you really allowing yourself to show the world the real you or parts of you that maybe you've kept hidden from the world because there is that that part that I'm feeling like you know you appear as like a deer but actually beneath the mask of the deer you're actually this really super cool alien you know what I mean um and I mean that in the most loving way ever. Um, make yourself at home, adaptability, change, originality, not feeling like you have to show up as this perfect, perfect thing, you know? Um, maybe you felt like you had to put on, like I said, that facade, that mask, and wear this mask and show up a certain way in order to keep up an appearance or whatever it may be um, because you felt like that's what people wanted from you or you felt like that's what you needed to do, you know? It's just like kind of like social media, you know? You only show people what you want them to see and that's kind of what it is, what really it's just an illusion, you know? And it's getting tiring for you to do that. All we have is now. Why waste the time that you have right now pretending to be somebody that is kind of a shell of who you are? You know, that maybe it was who you were before and it still could be part of you now, but just not the whole part of you. You know, you're just giving people pieces of you, bits and pieces, and it could be really draining for you to keep showing up that way or, you know, not really being authentic to who you are, not really adapting to the changes that you have evolved into over time and giving yourself that grace and that love and that compassion that you give so freely to other people, you know, and allowing yourself that compassion and kindness and understanding that these people who uh, like see you on, on social media or whatever, wherever you, you might be, you know, feeling this pressure from, they are, they're going to love you just the same. And if they don't, guess what? They're not meant to be in your life. You don't want that those people around you anyway because if they can't love you for who you are they're not you don't want them around you know what i'm saying pile one pile two i feel like that's a huge thing coming through it's like why would you want somebody who why would you want someone in your life who doesn't truly love and appreciate you for who you are so that's kind of coming through let's move in to your future self like what your future self wants you to know if this resonates with you and this feels like your pile let's dive in shall we we have headspace you are overflowing with creativity creative energy new ideas and productivity which i think might be hindered by the fact that you feel like you have to show up in the same old ways that you've been showing up you know um previously you also have koala spirit number 35 spirit has a plan which i feel like some of you might be really connected to whatever you call this higher higher being it could be god it could be universe it could be spirit it could be whatever deity that you feel called to okay we also have enlightenment and we have number 56 relationship change okay so before i pick out your before i pick out before i shuffle out tarot for you guys um i just want to start off by saying 
I feel like there is a lot of di divine energy within your future self coming through with this relationship change condensing um, 56 condenses to 11 which is a master number all about new beginnings and yourself potential inspiration and your gifts so i think like this is tapping into a lot of like you and yourself a relationship change within yourself this could definitely tap into a relationship change in your life as well so take that if it resonates it doesn't necessarily mean like a relationship change um like an actual relationship change with somebody else however if it does resonate with you go ahead and take it but at the very least i do feel like this is definitely pointing towards a relationship change with yourself you know as far as like being enlightened to the changes that you have within you and allowing yourself to come to terms with the evolving that you have been going through the awakening that has been happening within yourself and letting spirit or god or the universe whatever it is that you call this your angels you know like i said whatever it is that you choose to call the higher power change and take on this role in your life and, and lead you down this path and it's for a reason spirit has a plan god has a plan the universe has a plan for you and it's just allowing yourself to trust in that trust that you're being led down this way for a good reason for reasons that you may not understand you know and if you look back on your life has this ever led you down a path that you were not meant to be on no Maybe down paths that you didn't understand at the time, that felt hard and shitty at the time. Yes, but you grow, you growed, you grew, you evolved, you've learned things, you've, you've, you know, through the depths and darkness, you, you came out with more grit, more grace, more strength, you know, um, and there was always something that you grew from you evolved from and you came out on top of right so I just want to keep that in mind for you with 35 condensing to 8 it's about movement it's about cycles it's about infinity it's a number of infinity right cycles and power you taking that power and authority in your life and trusting in that you have so much creativity so much flowing within you and it's just about you being in alignment with who you truly are in order for this creativity and this these new ideas to flow in order for you to be in alignment with that energy you need to really be in alignment with who you truly are rather than putting out this facade that you might be putting out now you know so um before i keep going deeper and deeper with that i do want to draw your tarot I know I shuffled earlier. So, what does Pile 2's future self want them to know? What does Pile 2's future self want them to know? Way too many cards. What does Pile 2's future self want them to know? How to use future self want them to know. We have the seven of swords reversed. The how to use future self want them to know. Nine of pentacles. This pile to use future self want them to know. Knight of Swords, this pile two is future. Ten of Pentacles, wow. This pile two is future self want them to know. The Ace of Swords. Well, let's have the Empress, so I'm going to take it. The back of your deck, we have the King of Wands. Pile two. This is incredible, okay? First of all, I feel like this is about you understanding your higher your higher self your future self really wants you to understand that this is about you really understanding that 
in order for you to connect with your highest and best self, this is about you strategizing how you present yourself, how you connect with yourself, and letting go of anything that you feel is no longer in alignment with you, no longer serving you. And the advice that you might preach to others, it's time that you accept and listen to that vo- that advice yourself. You know, I feel like there are things that like you might need to pay attention to in terms of like actions speak louder than words. I feel like that's something I'm hearing right now with this Knight of Swords popping out right here. Um, normally, I feel like this is just about you really being mindful of the actions that you take versus like the words that you speak because sometimes, you know, you say one thing but you do another. And so just really be mindful of that. And you find a lot of clarity when it comes to the things that you are moving forward in um because you have both the nine and ten of pentacles around like surrounding your knight of swords here which is about you like i said you know paying attention to the actions that you that you take versus the words that you speak and when you are mindful of those actions aligning to what you say you're going to do the advice that you give out and you know aligning to who you are I feel like that's going to make all the difference, you know? I hope that's, I hope my words are making sense when I say it. Um, sometimes it makes sense in my head, and then when I speak it out loud, it does not. So I do hope it is. Um, but like I said, it's just about you, like, for, for me, the Seven of Swords here, it's like social media. It's making me think of social media. So for some of you, I feel like this has a lot to do with maybe you guys work on social media or put things out on social media that appears one way, but your life is actually another. And sometimes it can really um, affect you mentally, affect you um, in a certain way. And it's just really about you being mindful of like, nobody really cares about how perfect your life is because it's not relatable. It's not real. It's not genuine, right? And people understand that nowadays. People understand that people only post what you want them to see, only post what you, you know, want, want them to know about, which is understandable, right? So it's not about you feeling like you need to be perfect, that you need to show up a certain way, that you need to look a certain way or whatever, because that's not real, right? Everybody, everybody looks a certain way without makeup. Everybody is whatever, you know, blah. Not everybody has like a million dollar income. And it's not about that, you know, it's not about the clout and all of that. Really what needs to happen for you is being in alignment with who you are and what makes you happy. Don't worry about what other people think, you know, don't worry about like, how is this going to appear on social media? Who's going to like it? How many people are going to like it? Who's going to comment on it? Because guess what? At the end of the day, are those people paying your bills? No. Are those people going to be, you know, um, at your doorstep if you need help moving house to house? Probably not. You know, the main people that are, are the people in your circle. The main people that are, are the people that, you know, are genuinely your friends. And so I think like your future self really wants to hone you in and get you back down to reality and knowing that you have a certain group that really loves you and supports you and sees you for who you are. And it's just about you showing up the way that you are for you and for the people that care about you. Um, in that way and don't worry about what everyone else thinks you know because the people who are meant to be your audience like say you do work on social media you know say you do have a big following you know if you do you lose some of your following guess what they're not your audience they're not meant to be but guess what you will gain people who are meant to be following you you will gain the audience who are meant to vibe with you who are who you want to attract and those are the people that you genuinely want to be around those are the people who are actually going to support you through whatever it is that you're doing because they vibe with you and they understand you. And that's what we want, right? Um, I feel like this Nine of Pentacles and this Ten of Pentacles is really about you feeling really comfortable in your own skin, feeling really comfortable with who you are and creating the abundance in your life and who you are and where you stand. Finding that independence and that um, comforter, comfortability in who you are and being proud of that and standing in that very comfortably then that leads to the empress energy that came out at the end you know really understanding like i am proud of 
who I am and what I've created here because at the end of the day, that's what you're living with is who you are and what you're creating for you and your family. This Ten of Pentacles, this legacy. And it's about you being enlightened and finding clarity in that relationship with yourself. And ultimately, I feel like there may be some divine counterpart energy that comes through to really support you on this journey, you know? I feel like a lot of people preach that you need to be healed in order to fully love somebody. You need to love yourself fully in order to love somebody. But I think, honestly, I'm going to be real with you. I think that's a little crap. I think that you can definitely be in a process of healing and still be in a relationship because I think relationships heal you as well. I think that if you are in the process of healing yourself, you can definitely love somebody. And them loving you is a process of healing as well. You know, and I'm giving you full permission. I feel like your future self is here telling you, that is definitely a sign. It's definitely an okay for you to go ahead and do that. It's definitely an okay for you to step into this. You know, if your heart feels open and ready to receive love, go for it, you know? Or you might have felt closed off before this person is coming in to help you and open up, you know? And I feel like this is just about you really opening up and stepping into this path of abundance, stepping into this path of abundance in all the forms, okay? Not just abundance material-wise, because that's what a lot of people's minds go to, but also abundance in quality time with people that you love, abundance of love, abundance of happiness, you know, in all the forms of whatever it is, right? And so I feel like your future self really wants you to tap into that and really tap into letting go of that facade, letting go of what you feel like you need to present to the world and really allowing yourself to just be you, allowing yourself to let go of like, I need to present and type these things or say certain things, but actually just do you you know, do you. And you will find that you will find more clarity, more enlightenment, and be more in alignment for the things that you are creating in abundance. You know, you will find that you'll be able to create your legacy. You will find that you'll be more in alignment to create this abundance. And I feel like whatever it is, it has a lot to do with creativity. Whatever it is that you do for work, it's a creative thing. Even here, this person looks like they're painting, you know, and it's about you adapting and changing and allowing yourself to adapt and change by letting go of that mask, you know, letting go of that facade. So, um, I feel like I'm repeating myself quite a bit because I'm trying to nail the message in really well. Um, cause it's easier said than done. And, I think your future self is just has so much love for you and so much belief in you and I have so much love and belief in you as well and I just I want to see you have an incredible change here an incredible step into your power an incredible you know it's like a breath of fresh air as you come up to the surface to really unveil who you are you know it's like when you wear that face mask for so long and you're finally able to take it off and you're like I can breathe, you know? I feel like that's kind of what it is. So let's close you out with advice and guidance from your future self. <clears throat> advice and guidance from pile two's future self, please. We have Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? Are you being called to journey somewhere? Maybe it's time you take a little trip, a road trip, maybe a vacation or a staycation if you're able to. Maybe it's a journey internally, you know? Advice and guidance for pile two. Advice and guidance for pile two, please. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being, definitely. I feel like this is about you dreaming your new world into being and birthing your new creation of life here. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like a baby, but you know what I mean? Like a birth of... A new creation that you have this creative flow that you have coming in to create something new whether it be a business or an idea an opportunity something like that 
We also have the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. I love this. I feel like you're already cracked open and it's time for you to keep unfolding, you know? Advice and guidance for pile two, please. Roses, pink roses in, in particular might be very um, special for you guys as well. Especially since you have the pink owl and this pink rose, I just feel like that might be a, a symbol for you. Transformation, things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. Yeah, you guys, I feel like that could be definitely something you guys are going through. Like I was telling you, like healing, there might be like some um, heart healing that you guys are having as well. And then the back of your deck, which is so interesting that Pile 1 had this as well. Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So you guys might feel very aligned to starseed energy, um, specifically Pleiades, but any type of starseed energy as well. I will go ahead and drop a starseed reading for you guys if you feel called to take a listen and explore that area. Um, definitely very incredible energy to be a star seed. I feel like there's so many star seeds among us right now um, in this day and age. So it's very incredible to be a part of um, and identify as a star seed. I identify as a star seed. So um, specifically, I'll drop Lexi the Leo's star seed reading. She's absolutely incredible. I love her. She's a great dear friend of mine here on YouTube and she's absolutely incredible with her readings. So I'm going to go ahead and drop her reading down below if you feel called to take a listen. Um, I highly recommend. She's absolutely incredible. So um, but yes, that's where I'm going to leave your reading pile too. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead. I just want to take a moment actually to thank your future self for coming through and allowing me to channel this for you and thank them for coming through and being with us. Um, but yes, if you guys enjoyed, please go ahead and smash the like button and comment a deer emoji down below. I think there's a deer emoji. Um, let me know how you guys liked it and how it resonated. I love talking stories with you guys in the comment section and hearing all about your all about your stories. So yeah, let me know how this resonated. And if you guys enjoyed it and would like to subscribe, I would appreciate it. And hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat. I'll also be dropping my Patreon link down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family there where we have exclusive content and weekly energy readings and not available here on YouTube. So thank you guys so, so much for being here with me. And I hope you guys enjoyed and have a magical day or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. What's up pile three? If you chose the blue owl and or the light seers tarot, welcome to your reading. I'm gonna put your owl next to Hedwig. And we're going to give your deck a good shuffle on camera. Now, I feel like you guys might be my magical group. Like, look at that, the lovers. I feel like you guys might be my magical group. That was a horrible shot. My magical group, meaning like my mystics, my tarot readers, my psychics, mediums, you know, my people. I feel like this might be my group, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Let me know if I got that right <laughs> prior. Oh, this is upside down. Okay. So one, two, three, these are your current, and then this is going to be from your future self. Okay. So let's dive right on in, you guys. We have the unicorn. What did I tell you? Right there confirmation ancient ruins build a castle from the ruins devastation loss old wounds wow and unblock amazing okay all right pile one definitely 
feel like you guys are connecting to higher power, higher wisdom, divinity. Your third eye is definitely open and you have a very good intuition, okay? If you're not like psychic, you have at least a very great intuition. You're connected to your intuition and your third eye. Um, you might be very much in this state of awakening, right? And exploring, questioning things, looking for answers and a deeper meaning, you know? at the very least, um, but waking up to powers, waking up to uh, gifts, waking up to just ascension in general, you know? Also though, I feel like with this Ancient Ruins card, I feel like for some of you, this might have come at a time in which you have gone through some devastation. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing dark night of the soul um for others of you it, this could just be like a time in which you've discovered some insane things going on um and when i say insane things i just mean like i don't mean just but i mean like you know you could have been dealing with major loss major heartbreak um devastating situations in which you're like what is happening you know like how is this happening and for some of you, I feel like, uh, actually for a lot of you, I feel like you may have gone through these situations alone, very isolated, very much like, not because you had no choice, although some of you may have not had a choice, but for others of you, it just felt like there wasn't a point in talking to anyone about it, because I don't think anyone would understand, you know, there were so many things going on, not just the pain and the heartache and the loss and the devastation, but also in the building of things back up. I feel like there was so much going on simultaneously in this moment in the, the breakage and the loss and the waking up to these gifts and tapping in and simultaneously finding something that you either rediscovered a gift that maybe you felt called to, you know, as a child, but also I think that for some of you, it's like a magic side of you that you lost sight of at some point that is starting to come back and for others of you with this unblock card it's like sometimes you question that part of you sometimes you question your abilities your magic your abilities your gifts and it's about unblocking that part unblocking these things um i'm being called to solar plexus energy so that might be something that you need to really unblock um i'm just being shown like my navel area so um i'm just being called not not shown but being called to touch my navel area if that makes sense so that could be a particular chakra that is blocked currently um that might be helpful to connect i'm hearing that song pure imagination from is it willy wonka and the chocolate factory and I think it's just, there are so many parts of you that believe in magic, that believe in the impossible. I believe in six impossible things before breakfast. I, keep, I hear that too. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely exactly everything that I identify with as well. And I think that the cool thing is that you have a strong belief in all of these things and there's some times where you doubt your magic, you doubt your abilities and it can really hinder you from moving forward at times and um, maybe sometimes there are people in your life that you share things with that actually put a damper on your plans or put a damper on your dreams and um, I'm hearing like stop doing that, stop sharing it sometimes it's best to keep it quiet and I know sometimes where you get super excited you know to share it with someone and you want to someone to be excited with you but um sometimes it's best to just keep quiet about it and be excited for you and yeah I feel like you guys are so powerful and so magical look at these mushrooms and these golden butterflies and this beautiful like is this a nebula here just absolutely insane um just the way that you're able to build a castle from ruins because you are magical and the unicorn is pure magic and just 
absolutely incredible. So <laughs> if you find that you're identifying with this energy here, that you feel like sometimes you doubt your magic or sometimes you feel blocked in your energy, but you're able to pick yourself back up in a lot of ways and move forward. I feel like I don't want to dwell into this area so much because not because I'm afraid to dwell in it, but because I feel like it's not useful to dwell in it, if that makes sense. I feel like, I feel like you guys are very comfortable in the dark, very comfortable in the shadow, which is what makes you so magical because you're able to illuminate the, there. You're able to shine and glow there. And, um, There's so much that I think your future self wants to share with you in order for you to really be empowered and move forward in a way because there may be something that, like I said, is blocking you right now that needs to be unblocked in order for you to really move forward and shine. And I think that's going to come from your future self. So let's take a look. Pile three. We have energy field, wow, energy field, get back what you put into the universe, manifestation, attraction, momentum, exactly that magic air that I was telling you about. You guys are definitely my magic pile. 57, squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, you guys. Fulfillment. 26, love partnership. Okay, I hear a couple eye rolls. Take it if it resonates. Um, with the love partnership, some of you may have been manifesting a love partnership. Um, so take that if it resonates. If it's not for you, don't don't worry about it. But definitely, I feel like this is you finding fulfillment. This is you, not just fulfillment in love, but fulfillment in a lot of aspects of what you are manifesting, okay? And you, for a lot of you, I feel like you're manifesting everything in the bag of chips, the whole, sh the whole shebang, you know? Um, look at the squirrel, like, harvesting their, is it nuts? For, is it nuts or acorns? For, um, winter? And you're just so fulfilled by all the things because you understand that what you put out into the universe is what you get back. You're attracting it. You're manifesting it. You know, just like magic. I'm hearing that seven. Is that the song? Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. Okay. What does Pile Three's future self want them to know? Fifty-seven growth and expansion condenses to twelve, which ultimately condenses to three. Abundance, growth, creativity. What does Pile Three's future self want them to know? Ooh. Seven of Pentacles. What does Pile Three's future self want them to know? Too many cards. What does Pile Three's future self want them to know? The Lovers. Pile three's future self want them to know. The King of Swords. Oops. What does Pile Three's future self want them to know? Knight of Cups. What does Pile Three's future self want them to know? Three's future self wants them to know. The moon. This is how Three's future self want them to know.
the world. Oh, the Empress, excuse me. In the back of your deck, we have the Fool. I feel like this is a lot about you having patience and being called to have patience when it comes to what you are trying to grow here and when it comes to fulfilling your manifestations. And I know it feels like it's taking a long time as it is. And I think that's what it is when it comes to your magic and your abilities. Sometimes you lose faith in it. You lose hope in it because you're not seeing the results quickly enough. And it's just the key here is to be patient, to have patience in yourself and your abilities because great things take time, you know? I'm also feeling like your future self is telling you that there is a divine counterpart coming into play here. Whether it is something that um, you guys are bringing, you know, manifesting into your life or not. If you already have a significant other, then you can disregard. But I do feel like there is this, this person coming in towards those of you who have been manifesting a soulmate connection in for you. And this is somebody who is very charming and somebody who has been that person that you have been manifesting to your life, the person who you can lean on, the person who is in touch with their emotions, who, you know, very much like the other half to your coin, like that just understands you and is in tune with you. Very, um, empathic. I feel like, um, understands your love languages and is there for you and compassionate and kind and caring and just, the things that you have been, like I said, manifesting in a partner, that's what's coming towards you. And you're going to be faced with a choice in terms of aligning to that love. Um, no longer feeling like, you know, unfulfilled by things. I feel like this is about you coming to the surface and having that divine counterpart really fulfill you, you know. I feel like there's so much energy of being fulfilled here, whole, full moon energy. Look at this full moon here, fulfillment, full moon, full moon behind the unicorn. It's in every stage and there's even a full moon here with the Empress card as well. And I just feel like that's a huge symbol here. So full moon season may be very significant for you guys as well. Super moon, I'm hearing, might be something significant for some of you. You might have been manifesting during a super moon or something like that as well, or something to that effect. Um, I really feel like the moon card is here to really remind you to, to trust in your intuition, trust in the subconscious, trust in the fact that, you know, you're comfortable in the, in the darkness. Like I was telling you before, you know, you, there's, you're comfortable with your shadow aspect and your light aspect, and there's nothing for you to hide from, you know, there's no need to hide anymore. And you can dive really deep into both aspects, you know, whatever's hidden beneath the surface, you can bring forward. And you don't need to feel like you need to hide from anything or hide anything. Like I said, um, I feel like that that's coming forward in, and I don't think I'm, I'm relating it in the, the best way. Um, so let me gather my thoughts just a second. Um, I feel like for you to really be comfortable in moving forward and being fulfilled and really believing in your magic and unblocking whatever is causing you to feel like you're not worthy of whatever is coming forward towards you or not worthy in moving forward and paving the path, um, really trusting that you need both shadow and light within yourself in order for you to tap fully into your potential, your full potential and your full magic. You know that the person coming into your life is going to love you for your shadow and your light. They're going to see you as you are. Um, I read something earlier this week that talked about how people really aspire to unconditional love and in reality, we all actually do have conditions when it comes to our love. You know, if somebody doesn't show up in the way that we need them to, that's a condition. You know, if somebody doesn't respect our boundaries in our love relationships, that's a condition. Um, I'm not really sure why I'm being called to share this other than the fact that having a soulmate partnership and 
having this person come into our life and the lover's card, it's really about making the choice that is this person the right person? Is this person going to be that person who respects these boundaries? Is this person going to be the person that, you know, meets those conditions? And am I going to meet their conditions, you know? And are we going to understand each other's love languages and boundaries and respect one another in the way that we need to each be respected? And I feel like that's what it is, like no longer hiding beneath the surface and pretending to feel like we need to keep things hidden, but rather bring it up to the surface, you know, because in the moonlight, we can be seen for all that we are, you know, it's just the darkness and the light all at the same time because it's different than the sun you know the sun casts shadows and the moon in the darkness it's both I feel like um if that makes sense and it's just a beautiful divine feminine thing it's nurturing it's loving it's beautiful and it's everything that we want in love you know um of course we want some masculine energy in there as well but um, with the Empress coming here, I just feel like it's very much a reminder of you tapping into that energy of being ready to receive that and being open to receive that, whatever it is. And like I said, not all of you are looking for love and um, looking for that, but also if you're already in a relationship, it's making those choices. It's choosing like to level up with your partner in that way and choosing to make that decision, right, um, to stay or to have those conversations. Um, with the Empress, because love partnership makes me feel like we're elevating, we're cycling, um, 26 condenses to eight, which is all about cycles, change, regeneration, power, authority, you know, changing movement, taking action in our, in a cycle that we are having, um, leading to the Empress, which is about, you know, abundance and being ready to receive and all of those amazing things of divine feminine energy as well and i think that this is your future self telling you to be ready to receive because you're ready to receive you know believe in yourself believe in the fulfillment that's coming towards you be mindful of the energy that you put out into the world because that's what's coming back to you you know um the back of your deck is the fool is just like understanding that you have and behind that's a page of wands wow so having that carefree energy you know not feeling like you have to worry about every single thing and like understanding that you can trust in yourself you can believe in yourself believe in the things that you're doing and believe that when you put forth that work and that energy that it'll come back to you as it should you know have that passion moving forward and look at how carefree she is with her passion in this page of wands energy you know Trusting that if you took this leap, the universe would catch you. You know, what would you do if you knew that you could go forward in a way? Like, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? It's that energy coming through. You know, your future self is telling you, like, trust in that. Be patient because good things take time. And you're not going to see results instantly, especially when it's something really great and really vast and huge, you know? Trust in your abilities. Trust in yourself and trust that you have what it takes. Trust that you will be fulfilled. You know, three is a number of growth. 18 condenses to nine, a number of fulfillment, attainment. And then six, of course, is love. Seven is divinity, patience, you know, discovery. So closing out, we're going to finish off with advice and guidance. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking. Advice and guidance from your future self. Advice and guidance for pile three, please, from their future self. This is pile three's future self wants to tell them for advice and guidance. Oh, we have the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, a soul tribe. So definitely trust in your intuitive hits and know that your soul tribe is coming in to support you. So I wouldn't be surprised if you were making new friends, soul tribe coming in for you as well. Advice and guidance for pile three, please. The, in the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Wow, you guys, it's like stepping out from this cave and into like a world of color. Like you guys are making that, that like threshold pathway. 
like from ruins to like incredible castle beauty you are doing that and trusting in that waking up to this you know Pleiades ironically this has been coming out for everybody this has come on the back of the deck for pile one and two and now it's flipped out for you guys Pleiades double mission channeling and uplifting humanity so that's our seed energy which I'm just going to drop it down below already um i'm dropping lexi's lexi the leo's um star seed reading all right i absolutely love lexi she's incredible advice and guidance for a pile three please from their future self we have two things coming out so i'm going to take both we have mirror who or what is triggering you so that might be something that could be blocking you, okay? And we also have Min Takin, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. So more back to this Pleiades, um, Min Takin is a type of star seed. And in the back of your deck, we have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? So that is where I'm gonna leave your reading pile three um i want to take a moment to just say thank you to your future self for coming through and allowing me to channel this for you guys um i am hearing it just left my head i don't know what the song is anymore if it comes back to me i will pop it on the screen um i'm hearing fleetwood mac but I, it's not rihanna it's the other song and i freaking i hate when this happens when i channel because it like leaves my head um is it dreams Thunder only happens when it's raining. Oh my gosh. It's the thunder only happens when it's raining song. I love that song and I don't know why I can't think of the name. But you guys know that song, right? It's like, I love freaking Fleetwood Mac and I can't think of it. Um, but that is the song I'm thinking of right now. And yeah, I feel like you guys are my magic group. Um... My, my when I say magic I mean like my my wizard group my my you know my psychic tarot reading my mediums you know light workers healers but yes thank you guys so much for allowing me to channel for you um and yes if you guys enjoyed it please go ahead and smash the like button and comment a unicorn emoji down below so I know you guys are from pile three and let me know how you guys enjoyed this reading and how it resonated for you i love talking stories with you in the comment section and getting to know how everything is for you guys um and yes if you guys feel called to subscribe i would really appreciate it and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat i'll also be dropping my patreon link down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family there where we have exclusive content and weekly energy readings not available here on YouTube. So thank you guys so, so much for being here with me, for clicking the video and watching and doing all the amazing things that support me here. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. What's up, pile four? If you chose the red owl and or the deviant moon tarot, welcome to your reading. I'm gonna put your owl next to Hedwig over there. And let's give your deck a quick little shuffle. Put your deck right there. We're going to dive right on in. I feel like your guys' energy is very different. Um, it feels like, go. Let's go. It'd be like some fiery energies here. Um, yeah. This is your future energy. Not future. Current energy. Wow. It feels very like, let's go, guys. I just heard, let's go, girls. What song is that? It's from Shania Twain. I ain't gonna act politically correct. I only wanna have a good time. What song is that? The best thing about being a woman. Man, I feel like a woman. And it doesn't matter what you identify as. I don't know why I'm hearing that song, but that is a song 
I'm hearing. I feel like it's just more so about being empowered and going out and doing your thing, you know, doing something that makes you feel really good and really like confident in your skin. So again, it's just about you feeling good in your skin and feeling like, yeah, I feel good. You know what I mean? So again, it doesn't matter what you identify as. It doesn't, you know, if you're not a woman or don't identify as one, please don't, don't scare away from this pile. Um, we have horse. We also have breathing forest, feel the earth below your feet, nature, grounding energy, balance. Very earthy energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. However, um, I was telling the other pile that this does not matter. You can take it as a layer of confirmation, but it does not make or break it. Like you don't have to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in order to have be this pile. Um, and we have connection. Okay. Wow, pile four. I feel like you're very much in this energy of freedom, finding your freedom, being free, expansive. Um, you're very supportive and reliable as a friend, as a person, as a partner, as, you know, just in general, you, you're that person that people go to and can rely on. Um, I also feel like you can achieve anything that you put your mind to and you never give up, you know, um, always moving forward. And I feel like, uh, I feel like you always just find a way to achieve your goal, you know, to get there, to, to win. Um, Fly by Rihanna and Nicki Minaj might be a song for you guys as well. I'm hearing that song. Um, but I feel like you're very much awake and alive and you can, you're just in tune, you know. And it's very interesting too how you have the red owl and you have this breathing forest card too. Like makes me think very rooted, very grounded. Red is the root chakra, trust, you know, grounded, stability. Um, also the horse, very stable, reliable, comfort, you know. And I think people seek a lot of comfort in your energy as well. You have this comforting energy about you. And also this spunk, this fiery energy. You know, when I think of this horse, I think of like like a stallion, like, like a Mustang, you know, like you have this spunk about you in which you are determined and you will achieve whatever it is, you know, and having this connection card, I do feel too that you are very much connected to your crown chakra as well. You know, that that's what this card really represents is like connecting to your crown, um, connecting to a higher source, um, the universe, consciousness, and really just being in tune with that as well. Um, getting, you might be getting a lot of downloads as well. And because of that, I feel like you're very much able to, not able to necessarily, but needing to really ground your energy. And so I feel like you might be in this, I feel like you're in this energy of really figuring out what it is that is going on for you you know like what do you do with all of this you know um i'm feeling called to with the moon here in this third eye position of the horse in which like there's a lot happening um with your gifts like you might be opening up to like third eye gifts clear gifts and things like that and also trying to stay rooted trying to stay grounded trying to find your footing and you know lean back into your what's comfortable for you that stability that you you naturally have and gravitate towards you know because that's what you know and naturally do I think that like it feels a lot like you are making this connection to a higher power because you're opening up more towards it and I feel like it's something that's been happening and unfolding so naturally and it could be more so like a spiritual awakening like a divine awakening happening and like for some of you, this this could be something that you're you're easing into, and for others of you, this could be like, whoa, what's happening? Like you you're looking for guidance in this. Um, for others of you, this is like what's you know it's it's like tumultuous. For others of you, um, this might not be as easy, you know. But for I feel like for a vast majority of you, this feels like 
not so bad. Like this isn't your first rodeo. You know what I mean? I feel like this is something that you gotta, you've got to hold on. You know what I mean? Um, but let's drop into what your future self wants you to know, because I feel like as far as your current energy goes, I mean, you, you're, you're living this now. What do you, what does your future self want to tell you about all of this happening? Like what, that's what you came for, right? So if that resonates and this feels like your pile, let's dive in. Rainbow Road, you are on the right path. I love this. Higher self, alignment, authenticity. 30, no, 59, starfish spirit, open to infinite possibility. And action. And number six, love. Wow. Pile four. Awesome. Okay, so your future self is definitely here to let you know, like, you're definitely on the right path. And as far as, like, for those of you who maybe this is your first awakening, your first time waking up, your first ascension, your first, like, alchemizing things, um, trusting in your path trusting that you're on the right path trusting that you're doing the right things and all of these things are like happening for good reason you know trusting that there are infinite possibilities and being open to these possibilities you know with 59 condensing to five this is about change this is about some challenges that you may have to overcome but with you being the horse these challenges are easy peasy lemon squeezy you know um, it may not be easy peasy, but for you, you will overcome this like no other, you know, of all the people to, um, have these obstacles thrown at, you are definitely the person to handle this, you know, you're definitely the pile to handle this and you are the star of your life. You are definitely this star player, you know, the VIP, like the V the VIP, that's not what I meant to say, the MVP, you know, um, taking action and having action being thrown at you, you know, you need that in order for you to move forward. You need action to happen. You can't just have stagnant energy, you know? Also with love showing up here, I do feel like this is about love for yourself, love for the things that are happening and coming towards you, love for the changes, love for all the things that are unfolding. But let's get more details with tarot here because I do feel like this is kind of vague. What does Pile Four's future self want them to know? We have the Five of Swords. This is Pile Four's. The Four of Swords. What does Pile Four's future self? We have the Seven of Swords. What does Pile Four's future self want them to know? How for his future self want them to know? There's a star. Wow. This pile for his future self want them to know. The Hermit reversed. The back of your deck is the Chariot. All right. Pile four. So it feels like you guys are definitely needing to know that wow the lover is behind that okay there's an energy here about taking action and moving forward in a way that you win regardless you doing whatever it takes to win and to achieve whatever whatever it is at the end of your tunnel right whatever it is that you are trying to achieve you're going to do whatever it takes to get there and what your future self is saying, like sometimes it's best for you to pause and take a breather, take a rest 
so that you can re-strategize what it is that you need to do in order for you to be successful, in order for you to find, you know, what it is that you need in order for you to rejuvenate and refresh yourself, to replenish, to find, you know, the faith and the hope that maybe you have been lacking lately or that you will be lacking in the future because this chariot can easily flip over if you if you go forward in a way that is unbalanced, right? The chariot can easily flip over. And by you going forward as the lone stallion, the lone, you know, horse, the lone Mustang, and that can often um, lead you to be over isolated. And that's not always a good thing. You know, sometimes you need to allow yourself to come out of isolation and allow yourself to run with a pack, allow yourself to run with a group, soul family, soul tribe, allow someone else to come in and let love in and find yourself being in balance with other people as well. Let karma and justice come forward in a way that is meant to serve you. You know, I feel like you being in alignment, I feel like having the breathing force and this crown chakra it's about you being grounded and also connected to your crown and that's being in alignment with all your chakras sacral solar plexus heart throat and your third eye as well you know being in alignment in all areas and for that to happen you need to be in balance you know and what is balance without some rest what is balance without working with other people as well allowing someone else to help you out every now and then and use them too, you know, be open to infinite possibility, the possibility that there are other people who might have ideas that might be better than yours or ideas that might be more helpful or, you know, ideas that might help you to grow and learn and evolve in ways that you never imagined, you know, knowing that you may not have all the answers um, and understanding that you can help other people as well by sharing your wisdom and your knowledge as well with them. And together with each other's knowledge, each other's experiences, you can shape and pave a way and take action in ways that you never imagined, you know? Help each other out. There's enough for everyone. There's enough room for everyone. There's enough growth for everyone, you know? Um, moving forward in a way that allows you to really have balance allows you to really be forward and find the sun look at this happiness abundance i feel like this coming forward to you and i think it's just about you being open to that about you being open to sharing about you being open to new things new possibilities new people new connections in your life and new ways new ideas new things and as you open yourself up to these possibilities, as you allow yourself to walk this path, as you allow yourself to rest every now and then and re-strategize, rethink how it is that you do things, find the hope and faith again and rejuvenate, replenish yourself, you know, pour back into other people and not just into yourself. Um, I think that that is really going to change and pivot things in such a deep way. There, I'm, I'm called to all the sevens and I'm seeing seven here, seven here. There are seven stars in this star card. Um, seven is a number about reflection. It's about spirituality, divinity. And um, I think that it's also about you connecting with, as well. You know, there are thousands of chakras but there are seven main ones right that we are all familiar with and I think it's about alignment as well being in balance um so I think that's really important to call to also um but yeah you also have six here six here so six could also be an important number for you to have communication cooperation harmony and um, really just pouring back into yourself, you know, pouring back into others and sharing your wisdom and your knowledge. And that will really in turn help you to help uh, help yourself, you know, by helping others. So with that being said, pile four, I feel like your future self is just letting you know, like, yes, winning at all costs is great, but also by you taking a breather, taking a rest, allowing yourself to re rejuvenate and share your knowledge, re-strategize, and find hope and pour back into other people and yourself, I think that you over-isolating yourself can ultimately hurt yourself and tip over your, your chariot.
you know, it's about you having balance and moving forward with others. Together, everyone achieves more. I, I don't know why I'm being shown that acronym um, as a team. You know, I feel like rather than being a lone stallion, you will find that you will achieve more and greater things by aligning with people who are like you, aligning with people who are like your soul tribe and things like that. And you will, you will find these people along your, along your journey. I have no doubt with the lover's card coming out, um, justice as well. And the sun behind that, it's just all of these things are lining up, you know, people who are equally passionate as you and searching for things and gung ho. I just feel like those are all things that are coming towards you. So with that being said, let's finish off with advice and guidance from your future self. So what does pile for his future self? Wow, that was fast. Literally every single pile got this card. Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Starseed energy, guys, and I'm dropping that video down below. Um, Starseed reading from Lexi Leo, my dear friend. Absolutely love her. So check it out if you feel called to, because I do feel like everybody here is a starseed and waking up to something. So check it out. You also have Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? And this could be an internal journey for some of you. Sorry if you hear my dog barking. Somebody came home. Advice and guidance for pile four. I also have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. I love this so much. So some of you may be coming into contact with somebody who is one of these things, a teacher, a mentor, a priestess, a mystic, who will help you along the way. Advice and guidance for pile four, please. We have take a break, life's a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. And that definitely calls me to this card right here, this four of swords, allowing yourself to rest, pile four. And then yes, at the back of your deck, just say yes. So if you're looking for an answer or you need to, somebody's asking you to do something and maybe you've been hesitant to take a leap of faith on something there is an answer for you there at the back of the deck yes just say yes and go for it so that is where i'm going to leave your reading pile for and i just want to take a moment here to thank your future self for coming through and allowing me to channel this message for you and yes i just i i hope that this resonated for you guys and really brought you some insight. Um, and if it did, I hope you guys go ahead and smash the like button and comment a horse emoji down below so I know you're from pile four. And let me know how this resonated for you, what you guys liked about it. I love talking stories with you in the comment section and getting to know you guys. And yeah, I love it. So thank you guys so much. And if you feel called to subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat. I'll also be dropping my Patreon link down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family there where we have exclusive content and weekly energy readings not available here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for being here and I hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys soon. Bye!